employers should expect a few changes to the process. Uh, one, the EEOC has stated that employers will have 30 days to provide their position statements to the EEOC. Once the employers provide the position statements and any attachments, if there's a request by the charging party to receive the position statement, the EEOC will redact confidential information and then will provide those materials to the charging party. The charging party will then have 20 days to respond to the position statement. Uh, that response can be over the phone, in a meeting, or in writing. It's up to the charging party. The uh, respondent will not receive the information that the charging party receives, even though the charging party has now received the position statement from the respondent. The EEOC said that this change was prompted by a desire to have a consistent approach and come up with something so that nationwide uh, it will be treating all of its cases on the same basis. So employers need to be thinking now more than ever what information it's comfortable providing to charging parties through this process. So if there's information that an employer does not want the charging party to see uh, because it's confidential or perhaps because it's uh, related to a broader operational analysis that the employer is not comfortable sharing with the charging party, the employer needs to take that into consideration and possibly hold back information it might have otherwise provided. So number one, if there's any way not to provide it, the employer should not provide the information and try and refer to it generally. If the employer believes that the information is necessary to provide for some reason, it can separately provide the information through a new uh, digital uploading system at the EEOC. That information needs to be specifically designated as confidential and the basis for it being confidential, be it trade secrets or confidential medical information. Uh, the employer also has to provide the reasons why it believes the information is confidential. And at that point, the EEOC may or may not agree with that rationale. Uh, if it agrees with the rationale, the confidential information would not be provided to the charging party. If it does not agree, then that information could very well be provided. Mm -hmm.